Hey world, how you doing? Um, I have been struggling with how I want to store my iConnect stuff to be safe. Uh, smart probes cost a decent bit of money, so you kind of want to keep them safe. Um, and also make it usable and store in your truck in a good way and all that kind of stuff. So anyways, uh, just want to make a short, short video. Um, this is how I store my iConnect. Um, this is a Stanley box right here. Um, this is also for you, Chris, HVACR videos. Uh, if anybody is in contact with Chris, uh, maybe they can shoot him a PM. I don't have his uh, phone number or anything, any way to contact him or anyhow. So uh, maybe pass the word around if you guys could. Uh, Chris at HVACR Videos, he uses these Stanley box too. I just watched his uh, cool new new van video. Um, so uh, Chris is uh, kind of for you and anybody that uses iConnect. Um, I saw you use the iConnect bag. Uh, if you want to rack your, uh, your iConnect, um, this is a good way to do it. This is how I store my uh, I manifold stuff. Um, these are little rechargeable things. You get them for five bucks in Ralph's. Um, they come with a little uh, wire here so that you don't have to use your batteries inside your probes. It just goes on the side there and it runs off of these little uh, battery powered things. Uh, they work great. I just um, have um, little wire ties on them and I hang my probes um, depending how I need to hang them on these chains a uh, little plastic chain I got in Home Depot and I use my magnets and little clippy deals I got the magnets off of eBay if you want to know any of this stuff uh, guys just put it in the comments and I'll, I'll I'll link you to where I got all the stuff the uh, carabiner clamps are just the cheapo ones I got them for I don't know 80 cents in Home Depot magnets off of eBay got like 10 bucks for 16 magnets they hold really good um, put my wires in here the thermistors um, in there these uh, probes just put the probes under here a little bit of padding and I have these, you know, with the little plastic chains on them so that I can hang them at whatever height I want um, with the little plastic deals and that kind of stuff. And um, that's basically all I wanted to make the video about, uh, how I store my iConnect stuff. Um, this is also how I keep my, because uh, the temperature, uh, temperature clamps are, so wires are so long what I did is I daisy chained them like you do with an extension cord and I put wire uh, little trash bag ties on here so I can take the trash bag ties off if I want longer or shorter so I just <clears throat> have them set up right now for like that so you just take off one tie and you can move the tie or you could use removable wire wire ties they make wire ties that you can reuse you could do that too I'm probably gonna upgrade to that but um, this I found works pretty good because I just need to carry it somewhere lay it down on a on a roof and um, open it up and I can get to doing whatever I need to do so um, this works good like that and just uh, that way I can rack it in the truck wherever Chris you wanted to know how to label uh, this is how I act, label my Stanley boxes. I got a couple Stanley boxes in here right now. They're all going to be in the truck uh, in a while. I got a way I'm going to rack them. You gave me an idea with that L brackets. Um, uh, but I might be bookshelfing these also on the side of my truck where you you keep them like this, like a bookshelf. Like a, a Heavy Diesel came up with that idea. Thank you, Heavy Diesel. If anybody's in contact with Heavy Diesel, uh, give them a shout out for me. Uh, let them know. Thank you for that idea. Uh, so that's cool. I might bookshelf them like this. I kind of like that idea. Um, so uh, I kind of like that idea a lot. I'm probably going to do that. 
Uh, so thanks Diesel for that. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Click like on the video if you could and subscribe. Take care. Bye.